Yo, my hip hop heads and my hip hop lovers, welcome to Bars and Beats, the coolest, the dopest hip hop show in town. I am your host, Dulin the Wolf and Dogos Waka Parati Ungo Numato Sololo. Zalo Mandu, what I'm better known as my stage name, LNP underscore SA. And today I have a very special guest for you guys. But before I bring out my special guest, I'm gonna hit you up with some hip hop trivia just to test your hip hop knowledge, just born with how far you can go. But for now, let's do that. Let's go! Hip Hop Trivia Number 1 Who is known as the King of African Rap? Is it AKA Cuesta Or Casper Neil Vest? Number 2 Which South African Hip Hop Artist released the album Zulu Man With Some Power? Is it MT? Nasty C or Aries. Number three, who won the Lyricist of the Year Award at the 2020 South African Hip Hop Awards? Is it Youngster CPT, Stogie T or Aries? Nice job everyone, you do know your hip hop facts. Now let's get to the main event, let's go! Yo, our guest tonight is a rising star in the game of field to better known for their lyrical proneness and their killer flow of course. None other than, guys give it up for Brel. Yeah, hey, my what's man. good, my good people? Easy, my good easy, people at easy, home, easy, how you guys easy, doing? Easy, bro. Hey. Amen, amen. Nice to have you on the show today. This is, of course, Beats and Bars, the coolest and the happeningest. I'm not even sure if that's a word, guys. <laughs> is that even a word? Well, Happy. I, I just well, added it into the dictionary. Okay. Regardless, man, tell me more about yourself. Where are you from? Let's start with your name, bro. Bro. Where did you get the name Bro from and how did it come about, man? First of all, it's a pleasure to be here at the Beats and Bars podcast premiere episode. Yeah. Thank you guys for inviting yeah. me. Yeah, it truly is a pleasure to be here. So the name Bro, it's basically just short for brilliant. When I first came up with it, the idea of it was Brill Eargasm. But over time, I found people had a hard time pronouncing the orgasm part so i just chopped it down to introduce myself bro. as bro yeah so when you say brilliant are you brilliant in bars brilliant in music brilliant in art brilliant what's this brilliant all about because you can uh, you can be brilliant in a bunch of different things so what does that mm. or where do you stem from though it is arrogant to call yourself brilliant i would say my strong suit would be just coming up with ideas mm. and finding the best way with words to mm. express those ideas yeah that's brilliant exactly <laughs> <laughs> ah okay man okay tell me more where are you from where are you from i reside in mapetla soweto yeah yeah we it's a quaint neighborhood you know pretty Sotra style. Pri, piri ma pita zolam nini. Yeah. Yeah, that's how that they area, used to call it. That area. When yeah. I was still, yeah. So I'm around Star Garage, that White House side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those yeah. who know yeah. will know. Yeah. Yeah. So what got you into rapping? Being a guy from Piri and all of that. Come on. Rapping is not that big in Piri. Like, what got you into rapping? Uh, rap, man. Yo. I mean, I just liked it, you know. My pop would always be playing hip hop in his whip when I was a kid, and then I would just uh, write down the words of whichever artist he was playing, word for word, just play, pause, play, pause, write the sentence. And then eventually I started experimenting with my own words, yeah, fitting those yeah, into yeah. those flows, and I was like, you know what? I think I can do this. So, who was, who was playing on your, on your dad's MP3, on his uh, uh, cassettes? There? I could what was play. Boldly say my dad's favorite rapper is of all time, Biggie Smalls. Ooh, baby, I, baby. I, I heard, I heard he cried when Biggie died. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh, I could believe that. Yeah. A lot of people cried, man, Bro, when Biggie died. Yeah, it was a, a lot, sad moment. Man, it was a really sad moment. Um, 
almost as sad as Ricky Rick's passing. Yeah, true. Yeah, even yeah. this side, we gotta, we gotta. I mean, it, it's guys. still, yeah, like, man. Yeah, it's still, it's still painful. Uh, but anyway, um, in terms of your music journey, how did that one start? Besides, obviously, hearing tapes from your dad, Zaga Piggy, and all of that. Like, how did you actually say yes? Uh, me is brilliant. I want to do this, and this is what I'm, 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 I'm giving myself up to. Uh, I born in as far as first of all <laughs> shout out in his first but, uh, i was in varsity it was locked down i just got in a chunk of money from this fast i was like you know what i'm gonna buy some studio equipment and since we couldn't leave the house for three months yeah that's all i did was just release so technically you started uh 2020 to make songs not not just on my own on your own mm. before so, that i was working down. with other producers and other people but like uh, it things weren't moving at the pace i wanted mm, with mm, them mm. So, yeah so i figured it's if i want to go fast i should go on my own first and then i'll get people on the way so your first song when did you make it 2020 during lockdown 2016 2016 you've been in it <laughs> bro, bro, wow. yeah, it's been a minute bro, man yeah. 2016 but I, I, I don't even know where it's at to be honest probably with my old producer oh so, yeah that song you gotta go go get it mm. So that when you beg, he doesn't come out and be like, yeah, yeah. I'm fine yeah, with him. He can, <laughs> <laughs> he can keep it. He can keep it. All right. So uh, in terms of performances, uh, have you performed yet? Have you done any shows? Yeah, for sure. Just last week, we were at this guest house in Piri called Vado's Lifestyle Guest House. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was yeah. an after pride pool party there. Ooh. Yeah. So I was the opening act. I did some tracks from the EP I released yeah. this August. Yeah and yeah it was a it was a pretty lit show yeah uh biggie smalls is your dad's favorite rapper who's your favorite rapper don't say biggie hmm first person to come to mind was pretty ugly i absolutely I, I, like, that's my local G. that's yeah, my yeah, yeah, i appreciate that i appreciate that i really appreciate that man um before i let you go i just need to, uh, uh to know about the challenges that you're coming across through your music journey what what's inspiring you what's breaking you down what's happening through your journey G? so i just like constantly challenging myself mm. when it comes to the realm of music mm. seeing just how much i can do in terms of how many songs i can make mm. how I can improve on my style, creating mm, different mm, types of mm, songs. Mm. So I think yeah, it's the never ending improvement that inspires me to keep doing music. I love it. I love what mm. you just said. So I'm just going to ask one last question. Mm. So are you going to freestyle for us since you like challenging yourself? Yeah, of course. I'm always down to drop some Dope, 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 so, dope, yeah, dope, dope. Let me get sure. a beat. Uh, Mr. Producer, can we please get a beat so that uh, we can have our brilliant Brill freestyle for us? I can't for wait. Sure. For, guys, I can't wait to hear this. Um, this guy has been recording since 2016. So you better you better stay ready. You know he's coming with that, that fire. heat. <laughs> coming with that fire. Yeah, bro come with that smoke man come through with that uh we'll be doing that freestyle right now and then immediately after you'll we'll be back with me just to school me just a little bit more i need to still find out a lot more about you bro right mm -hmm. but for now let's just hit them with a the young freestyle yeah yeah mr producer let's get it okay yeah that's hard that's a hard beat right there yeah that's a hard beat yeah if I even tickle your jaw, I'll knock you out And my goons gon' stomp you out After two knuckles put you down Couldn't lose sleep over no check I'm busy training and that eight hours of REM Is important to get the gains in 10,000 punches, 1,000 push-ups a day I don't even think it's possible That you could relate, na na my stay The shorty cuddling cause she thinking I must stay But baby girl I cannot stay, now I must skate No time cause my plate full as fuck 
Gang responsibilities do weigh on my top what? I'ma cop a truck and put some plates on the truck If you ever touch my whip, I'ma erase you to dust Don't you play with my stuff I'm a free market capitalist So my entire purpose is to gain all this stuff That's why even though I got a girl, I wanna fuck yours All of mine is not enough unless I've also got yours I was born to explore That's the reason I was born with the Raw, ghetto samurai and slaying AI machine hordes In this modern age I still go to war with the sword mm, Yeah, I think that'd be it for today, my man, yeah mm, <laughs> Till this day I'm still going yeah, to war with the, the sword, sword. <laughs> This man doesn't care about you, you 9 millimeters, he does not care about you Your AK-47, he doesn't even <laughs> care about you Your nuclear weapons is coming with the sword <laughs> That's some, that's some, that's some dope, that's some dope yeah. Yeah, man, that's some dope, nice freestyle. Sure. You said you do 10,000 push ups a day. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, mm, I need to I need to get my weight up. <laughs> yeah, <don't> get ripped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for now, let's just hold it. Ganani, this is a after a while to come back with that other in the rest of the interview. But for now, guys, do not forget this is still Buzz and Beats, the coolest, the dopest, the most happening hip hop show in the country, guys. It's Yabuya Munch. The Creative Corner with Nolo Nolls, a cozy and inspiring show that features interviews with artists, showcases their work, challenges and successes, every Tuesday at 2pm only on Share Radio. Tune in live on Facebook, YouTube and TikTok. This is Share Radio. Okay, for this week's artist highlight, guys, we're gonna be highlighting the life of pro celebrating or pro kid Danki San. In the heart of South Africa's vibrant hip hop scene, one name stood tall a lyrical genius whose rhymes resonated with the nation. Today, we delve deep into the life and legacy of the legendary South African rapper Pro Kid. Born Linda Mkiza in Soweto, Johannesburg, 1981. ProKid's journey began in the vibrant streets of Ekasi. Growing up amidst the rhythm of township life, he found solace in the music that would soon become his voice. ProKid's family played a significant role in his upbringing. They recognized his talent and encouraged his passion for hip-hop, paving the way for a remarkable career. In the late 90s, ProKid's burst into the South African hip-hop scene. His debut album, Heads and Tails, dropped in 2005, and it was an instant classic. The tracks like Utining a Pro and Wozobona was a lyrical powerhouse captivating audiences across the nation. Prokid wasn't just a rapper, he was a storyteller. His lyrics were a reflection of the struggles and aspirations of the South African youth, and they resonated deeply. Prokid did not forget his roots, Throughout his career, he remained connected to his community and used his influence to inspire positive change. His impact extended far beyond music. Prokid was an inspiration to a generation of young South Africans who saw in him the possibility of achieving their dreams, no matter where they came from. Tragically, in August 2018, Prokid passed away leaving behind a legacy that will forever be etched in the annals of South African hip-hop history. But his music lives on, his words continue to inspire, and his spirit remains in the hearts of those who loved him. In the story of South African hip-hop, ProKid's chapter is one of resilience, authenticity, and unwavering passion. His legacy reminds us that, through music, we can change lives and leave an indelible mark on the world. Linda Prokid Mkize, forever remembered as a hip-hop legend, continues to live through his music, his community, and the hearts of his fans. Rest in power, Prokid. Thank you for watching. In the yo, 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 that freestyle was fire. Mm. Absolute fuego. Ooh. Bro. 
You are out here. You just out here, man. You hey, thanks, man. killing them with thanks, the bars. Hey, man, thanks for coming through. Brill is brilliant with the bars, guys. Do not forget, this is still bars and beats. Uh, the coolest, the hippiest, the most happening hip hop show in the country currently so we're just gonna run through secret interview here too so that you can get just to get to know you a little bit more mr brilliant right for sure oh man 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 i have to double back to that freestyle once more man for that freestyle i'm gonna give you four microphones out of five so i'm giving you four mics mm -hmm. out of five that's how brilliant that freestyle okay. was yeah, yeah, yeah. man how how like along your journey like what are the challenges that you've come across like throughout your journey after after all of those producers taking your songs from 2016 oh, like, <laughs> what else have you are you going through right now i think everything is all just you know part of the process that's why i don't get discouraged yeah. Mara, i would say um what what is my biggest challenges oh shit, sorry my biggest challenges would be now you want to drop my mic Ish, because I your did, freestyle did, was hot now I you want to drop that, my mic i needed just that one <laughs> uh, uh, yo my biggest challenge is in jail really just promoting yeah, my music yeah. that's about it uh, on the creation side we're all sorted yeah so creatively mm. speaking i don't give into same nine everything is well on point uh we're just uh dabbling back in terms of uh publishing mm. distribution uh pr Basic yeah, exactly. Ma, so, even with that, I've taken the approach that it's going to take time anyway. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, yeah. I'm going to just enjoy the process. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm going to ask a, a, a... Have you ever been in, like, a, a rap beef before? Have you, have you ever been in, like, a beef? Like, beef? Yeah, like, where you, you just hear a song and you... Hey, this guy is he's talking about me, most. Mm. Or is hey, this guy... Like, what's happening here? You've never experienced that. Would be, that. that would be quite a compliment, truly. Maha, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm yet at the point where people care enough to diss me yet. Yeah, yeah we'll see in like a year or two. So, if, like, so even those slight disses, you know, like, ah, I know. No, no, really, most day to move. Yeah, no, Ma, that's just dudes go cast, you yeah. know. Yeah, people who aren't really doing much themselves, yeah. they'll always find a way to crap on what you're doing. How how are you reacting to that? How how do you react to those the, type of uh, comments? As long as you are not in harm's way, it doesn't really yeah. matter, man. Like until the dude, you know, comes at me with fists, yeah. in which case I'll still handle him. It's oh, not really man. worth. <laughs> it's not really worth paying much attention to. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's get on a on a lighter note and stop through. You said you do. 1,000 punches and 10,000. <laughs> I'm like, oh, now he's like, I'm gonna black them. <laughs> Let's come back on the lighter note. Let's come yeah, back yeah, on the lighter yeah. note, right? Uh, guys, still beats and bars is chilling with your host, LNP underscore SA. Right now, what you're going to do, Brilliant, is just going to play a game. Sure. Right? So you're going to choose one name out of two. So if I say um, LNP or Brilliant. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, I'll pick. Yeah. Sure. You just pick one, right? So let's start Let's start locally. Let's start locally. Um, Aries on STC. Aries. Why? I just uh, resonate with his sound more. Yeah. Nasty is a dope lyricist. He makes great music. Ma, personally, I just gravitate more towards Aries. You relate more with yeah. Aries. Ah, okay, okay. Can't hate on that. Uh, Lucas Raps or Blackie? Blackie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maju Utin, Utin. That man, yeah. That man is dope. Because I know what he did on Sneaky was just... Um, next level yeah. oh you freaky uh, yeah that's my guy yeah 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 MT or Saudi Krapa Fasa Wabale all day all day you out here rolling yeah, out all day up, every day I mean, pow, pow. Pow. okay okay we, we, uh, we, we went a good start guys we went a good mm. start um youngster CPT the Cubstat man or maybe the super mega which one Ah, okay. for me it's youngster. For wait, me, wait, what? Youngster. Why, why? What? I wanna hear more about what? this one. What? Youngsters so, buzz. Of man. course. Man, youngsters buzz are next level. Like people really need to stop sleeping on youngster, man. That's the man. Ah, I, I, I so you take youngster CPT over AKA any day. Hmm. If those were the options, musically alone, I would choose uh, to listen to youngster. 
Ah, okay, yeah. okay. I'm not hating. I'm not hating, mm. man. For sure. Um, Cuesta or Casper in your vest? Hmm. I would say it's pretty even between the two. Yeah, leaning more towards Cuesta. Yeah. Cause I don't have a particular preference for either cat, but I guess I lean more towards Questa. Alright, 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 alright. Let's wrap up this scene with uh, the ladies this side. Mm. Uh Braga, Nadia Nakai, or maybe Skanda Queen, Umuzli. Which one would you go for? Yeah, Nadia. Why Nadia? Nadia ah, Nakai. Why Nadia? Yeah, Nadia. Um I just like her. You, just you like, like her Nadia. because of how she dresses or you like her because of uh, maybe her bars or maybe how I, she delivers her music. Hmm. I think it's because she's bougie like me. Well, well, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, kind of <laughs> okay. is more like more of a more ghetto, more gassy. Yeah. And Navela, like I've been told many times, okay, I'm very snobbish. So, yeah. The, the next one is a classic one. Um, Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? Uh I'm more familiar with Nicki Minaj's catalog. Yeah. So yeah, Nicki. So it go I haven't listened too much Cardi. Yeah. Just maybe one song there or two songs. Like I think the the only song I know by Cardi is uh, her breakout single. Everybody uh, knows what yeah. Bojack something. Yeah, Bo- every, Bo- Bojack every, Yellow, yeah. Everybody knows that song. Now, you know, Nicki was hot while I was growing up with the young monies and stuff and the t- so of course, yeah. That's my girl. Let, 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 let's see who Tilao and Uzutu Ketabai. Mm-hmm. Tupac or Biggie? Yeah, Biggie. Biggie, because you, you listen, because you, Again, you, grew, cause you see, grew up. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm more familiar with Biggie's catalog than I am with Tupac, based on like me growing around Biggie. Yeah, yeah I definitely pick Biggie. Biggie, but you know, like Biggie has like three albums. Tupac is, I don't know, 17. Doesn't, don't doesn't know. hey, again, this is all about personal preference. preference. Yeah, yeah, no, I yeah, get you, word. I get you, I get you. And I like how you stand in your ground, even when I'm trying to shake you off, like, nah, nah I'm nah, sticking with this one. That's my guy. Lovely, man, lovely, man. So let's get back to you, brilliant. Forget about everyone else. Yeah, we've lightened out the mood, Gangani. So now, I want to ask, would you consider yourself to be the best at what you do? That would be highly arrogant. What? There's many cats in the game that I look up to. Like I said like earlier, yeah. pretty ugly. Yeah. Man, I I learn even to this day. I'm still learning a lot from just observing How pretty ugly move. style. Yeah. 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 Even um, in my progression to this point, yeah. he's heavily inspired mm. my my writing style. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Pretty ugly, my guy. Nah, dope man, dope man, dope man. Uh, so tell me, what can we expect uh, to hear from you this year? Or rather start with what you already have out out at this current Ooh. point, and then you tell us what to expect. Which, okay, after now I've dropped this and this and this, now my EP, you said, you mentioned mm. something about an EP that you were performing oh, last yeah, week. Yeah. So I need you to break that down for us and tell us what to expect more uh, going to this, the rest of the year. Okay. Left. Well, the EP that came out this August was a smaller project within the larger project, which kind of came out as a New Year's resolution. Mm, I mm. told myself, before I even started promoting music, just for fun, that I would make and release 52 songs Ooh. this year. It wouldn't be every week, but by December 31st, I should have 52 the aim is songs to have 52. Yeah. So five journals, the EP, was kind of a way to fast track that process because mm. I was falling behind mm. <laughs> and I'm still falling behind. How How many yeah. uh, songs do you have on the EP? So f- on the EP, we yeah. have five songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now on the larger project so far, we've done 26 songs. Oh, yeah. so as you guys are going for like a double disc. Yeah. The first double disc in South Africa, hip hop, current, like, more. yeah. 26 yeah. more to go. And then, yeah, after this, next year we'll just be promoting the songs we made this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a very solid game plan, my guy. It sounds like a solid game plan. Uh, before I let you go in the interview, I'm just going to need you to tell us where we can find you. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Where mm-hmm. can we find you? Where can the fans connect with you? Real Airgasm on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Yeah, that's where all my... My content is primarily on YouTube. But I also upload my music a lot on Slicker on Life. Slicker on Life. Yeah. So you can find your music on Slicker on Life, yeah. the website. Are uh, you there on Spotify? 
No, I'm not on Spotify. Not on Spotify yet. yet, but you can find Brilliant on um YouTube. on YouTube yeah. and, and Slicker on, on Life. Life. Ah, that's word. That's word. Really dope. Keep it up, man. Uh, once again, guys, this is the Bars and Beats Hip Hop Show, the coolest hip hop show, mm-hmm. the happiest happening. Do I need to even say more about this show, guys? Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's out here doing the most. Aika Maulindo Gushi underscore LNPSA. You find me on all social media platforms. And yes, I'm there on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Same handle, LNP underscore SA. For now, these are the bars and beats. Uh, we'll see you after just a short while. <laughs> Take it and run, take it and run, yeah. You see a bag, just take it and run, take it and run, yeah. Grab it with both of your hands, take it and run. Raising your bread, cause bacon is fun. Get out the trap, just take it and run. Jib out a printer, the brilliant shop is a winner. Don't even know how we got through the winter. Guess I got Aikido like Master Splinter. Yet to the crowd in my eyes in the sky. Now I just need to develop antennas. Me and my thoughts need some time to our Something like Netflix ain't con entertainers. I need some mental stimulation. Real life is a better simulation. That's why I didn't open a demo account the day I started trading. Lost a few hundred and it took some months just to be evenly breaking. The poverty demon is tough, but it's something that can be defeated with patience. I just the Approach the one brand at a time One copy for one man at a time Four copies changing hands at a time Now I got in my bank at this time It's just a small gonna start But I know that I'm smart So we all gonna go to the top Retire old lady and both of my timers Now that's an ascension It's more than a ball Seeing some growth in a spot I was hopeless before Probably because I was focused on broads Tati was bad But why would she want me When I couldn't even clothe her little daughter Serving so wet so it spread me too thin As a businessman coaches their father Still not quite sure where I'm going The only direction I'm going is forward, I accepted the fact that for a couple of years I'ma show as a papa, these sirens are constant reminders that I cannot raise my labaka and sartla, but the glow up and awesome, now when I show up they starstruck, starstruck, I'm no celeb but you know that your shorty do want some, all that I do is be locked in my room constructing intelligent concepts, all that I do is be crafting systems while the world is still barely responsive, overcoming a billion flop tanks, celebrating the littlest progress, cause if you just keep it compounding, it's amazing what you can accomplish. You see a chance, just take it and run, take it and run, yeah. You see a bag, just take it and run, take it and run, yeah. Grab it with both of your hands, just take it and run. Raising your bread, cause bacon is fun. Get out the trap, just take it and run, take it and run, yeah, yeah. You see a chance, just take it and run, take it and run, yeah. You see a bag, just take it and run, take it and run, yeah. Grab it with both of your hands, just take it and run. Raising your bread, cause bacon is fun. Get out the trap, just take it and run. Yo guys, you heard it first, you heard that fire here, that fuego, you heard it here first, so do the most, go support bro guys, you'll find his music is there on Slicker on Life, he's there also on YouTube, but for now, it's a wrap for this episode of Bars and Beats, until I see you next episode, next week, same time, same place, guys, I see you, man. Yeah. <laughs>